What's up? Oh, you guys ain't seen me in a minute. The boy been out here doing some landscaping, man. It's been having me so busy that I ain't really ain't had time to record, man. It's been some long days. So, what I got going on today? I don't know what this is, but probably need to get this up. I'm gonna figure out something. I'm gonna let her see when I get done and figure out if she's gonna use me or how she's gonna do it. But your boy's back, it's a brand new cut. Push his knee down on this one. See how it's looking. This thing looking good and right. See how the back looks. Like we got a fence down over here too. So uh, that's why you got this camera. Show everything before and after. So I'm gonna get out here, get the weed eating, clean this thing up, man. Welcome back. Get to it, fellas. Start stuff. Alright, you got it cleaned up. Oh, cleaned up. Alright guys, one thing I've been noticing this year, man, is it's been a scammer economy. And it's like, if you want to get out here and work hard, you can get a lot of work lined up. And uh, with the quality work, that's where you can get what you're worth. Because when people who actually can pay for your services see you do quality work and you deliver on what you say, they want to keep you around. It's hard to get somebody who wants to work is going to get out there and do the job and deliver and over deliver if you can because a lot of people it's just uh you're gonna have a lot of people who still try to put band-aids on broken arms out there and try to get away with the least amount they can do and uh the least amount they can do will get them replaced by you if you can uh find a way to get around that person who's slipping and uh giving uh work that's less than real laxed on the work so if you get out here man bust your butt be consistent do the quality you're gonna end up getting what you deserve which is to get paid what you're worth so you have to get out here man and it ain't gonna be overnight I'm going into my fourth year now. And uh, one thing I know is a lot of it has been me just delivering. Just coming through delivering. Saying what I'm going to do, delivering. Uh, things matching up with uh, what my Google reviews say and then me delivering. So I'm going to take this phone call and I'll uh, get you on the next one. All right, guys, this is a Red Max Combi unit. So what we got, we got mud stuck. All right, there, take the old edger blade, get all this old mud out. Just a lot. Get back to work.
down and look how steep the hill is guys steep so that's why i slid i'm gonna get this finished cleaned up If I go from her down here and look up, you see how high that hill actually is. So I know where to get the more up there. So I got it knocked out. I'll let you guys. All right, so guys, we back at the shop. Tired, been a day. Wanted to get y'all some more footage, but man, I just been busy and I hadn't been able to record like I want to lately. So see the shop coming along. I've been doing some landscaping and I wish I really could have got some footage, man, but sometimes with those new customers, I don't like to uh, get out there with that camera because I feel extra comfortable. But, so I wanna have to get this wheelbarrow right here. This is a, uh, I think it holds a six cubic foot compared to my little red one. Made a big difference. I had a job, man, I'm talking about I knocked it out. Wish I really could have got you guys some footage, but Follow me on TikTok, Instagram, man. And uh, you can uh, check out some of that footage. So, but shop coming along. And one thing I wanna talk about is why you have to charge a decent price. Everything's gone up. Price of everything has gone up. And I mean, it leaves you with no choice unless you wanna be out of business. So, I just got the snapper out of the shop. I had a little issue with it. And I had somebody off Instagram who told me uh, Niles Moore on Instagram, man. She's really good. She uh, does a thing and she told me, was the one who told me I might need my valves adjusted. And I uh, went and got the valves adjusted and had some other work that I had to go get done. Hold on, this is where the tire messed up on me. Been, been back in action, man, and been back in action. Your purrs come with it, so. See what that was. Had to get some stuff fixed. Uh, need those valves adjusted, but while I was there, I just went ahead and had them do some stuff for me. I didn't have the time, really, and I was in the middle of doing that landscaping job, like I said, so. Had to get that done on top of, woke up this morning. Had a uh, freaking nail on the tire and it could not be fixed. So, on one second, guys. Phone was ringing, but anyway, had a tire go out. So, on the trailer, the tire over there had a nail in it. Uh, how the nail was, it couldn't be plugged, had to buy a new tire. So, part of it, man. Let me show you something pretty, pretty cool though I got for one of my customers. My customers end up giving me this nice little bird house with the Kentucky plate on it. it even came with a little bird poop. It looked like it. Gotta clean that up, but yeah, nice little gift from the customer. So, but guys, you gotta charge what you're supposed to charge. You just, it's a must, man. If you want to be able to keep going and. I've been losing people, picking up people, picking up people, losing people. 
it's just part of the game. But the thing is, I'm standing on how I want this thing ran for me. I'm not gonna let anybody run my stuff anymore. So, and it ain't even been like that for real, but I'm just really standing on it. You see, I ain't shaved or nothing, man. I've been out here working, man, grinding, putting these tools in, together. And, uh, man, I can't remember whose channel I watched that was talking about wide pitchforks and getting mulch up, but I wish I could have showed you guys the job, man. That thing worked, it's magic. I got done with that job pretty quick, like I said. But, man, stick to your prices. Stick to your prices, stick to your prices. Cause you're gonna have repairs, like I just showed you. Things go down, you gotta have things fixed. On top of, you need to be able to have the money to do the jobs that you need to do. So with some of these landscape jobs, man, sometimes you have to put up some of the money up front or take tips like I got <laughs> from one of my people and uh, get some of that money up front, man. And then go back, coop the rest, make it where you can pay a guy or if you're gonna be out there yourself, make it where you can pay yourself nice and uh, get your worth. Don't be out here doing work just to, I mean, I understand in the beginning you gotta do what you gotta do. But if I could do it over in the beginning, I would've been charging more in the beginning. Just me, that's what I would've been doing. And then I would've even set the bar where I could even set my prices higher in the future. So that's just me, but stick to your price, man. Do the quality work, do the good work. Don't scam and show up and people are gonna pay you for doing the work. Now, don't go over and be above and beyond for everybody. It doesn't work for everybody. But when you got those people who really appreciate what you do, hey, give it back to them. And uh, hopefully you guys can grow together because customers only gonna grow with you like a business. And uh, every customer I got, I really want them around the next 10, 15 years. So, Think about it like that, but no matter her man, for doing these videos, I'll let you like. Start smoking.